Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your Arkansas Times news headline updates for Tuesday, May the 15th. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge may have to testify in a case challenging her blockade of proposed ballot initiatives. Yesterday, Circuit Judge Wendell Griffin denied the Attorney General's office's motion to block a subpoena issued for Rutledge to testify in a hearing on the case set for May the 18th. That means Rutledge will be taking the stand unless she successfully appealed Griffin's ruling to the Supreme Court before Friday. But it would be highly unusual for the High Court to intervene in a dispute over a subpoena in trial court. Speaking of the Attorney General's ballot blockade, yet another rejection came in yesterday on Little Rock Attorney David Couch's proposal to raise the minimum wage to $12. The Attorney General's previously said that the proposal didn't explain exactly who was eligible for the minimum wage and would confuse voters. This, despite that the proposal originally had the same language as the last minimum wage hike, which was approved for the ballot and passed overwhelmingly by voters in 2014. Couch responded to Rutledge's criticism, quote, Rutledge now says the proposal is too technical and too long. We probably arrive close to the point where she has to run out the clock and there won't be time to collect signatures. On Monday afternoon, Washington County Circuit Judge Doug Martin issued a temporary restraining order stopping some broadcast TV stations from airing a recent spade of ads that attack Associate Supreme Court Justice Courtney Goodson. The ads are from an out-of-state dark money group called the Judicial Crisis Network. Goodson requested the order in a defamation complaint filed in Washington County yesterday. She simultaneously filed a similar suit in Pulaski County, but Circuit Judge Chris Piazza did not immediately halt the ads. A hearing in Piazza's court is set for Friday morning. Martin set a hearing for Washington County case on Thursday at 9 a.m. Rock Region Metro is hosting a fair free election day promotion to quote, help remove potential transportation barriers for area voters. All rides on Metro local and express buses will be free on election day, which is later this month, Tuesday, May the 22nd. The National Park Service announced that Laura Miller, currently the acting superintendent of the Buffalo National River, has been selected to be the superintendent of Hot Springs National Park. She will assume her new role in August. We tell our girls they can be anything they want to be. And for a while, they believe it. I want to be a doctor with a walk stuff. I want to be a veterinarian. A few months ago, my daughter Evie asked me if being a lawmaker is an all-boy job. That was the day I decided to run. If my daughter wants to be a world-famous singer, I will be her biggest supporter. And if she wants to be a state representative one day, she needs to know that's available to her too. My path hasn't been typical. I've been a lawyer, a stay-at-home mom, a teacher, and now I'm running for office. I know firsthand that it's never too late to build the life you dream of for yourself. Every Arkansan should have that same chance. We all tell our little girls that they can be anything they dream. Let's build an Arkansas where we can keep that promise. And finally, don't miss David Ramsey's deep dive into all state representative Bob Ballinger's significant ties to Ecclesia College, which has been at the center of the federal corruption probe. Former Senator John Woods was recently found guilty in a kickback scheme in which he directed hundreds of thousands of dollars to Ecclesia. Well, that's all your news for today. You can read more on the Arkansas blog. Thanks and see you tomorrow.